Sugar Bays, it's your girl Britt Brack on Live with the Bree Talk, and we have to talk about Coach Stormy, the life coach, the inspirational speaker. But before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. I need the CDC or the World Health Organization to start telling us that COVID affects the brain because some of y'all haven't shown your ass. But let's get into why we're really here. Today is a prime example of being tricked out your spot. You silenced yourself. Therefore, no one saw your business. You probably lost 50, 60, 70 percent of your sales today. So busy, so busy trying to be a follower. Your business today suffered. I know it did because my business today suffered. Okay, we stand for social justice. We stand for equality. We stand to eradicate racism. I do not stand to lose my business. I do not stand for my sales to be declined. I do not stand to fall short of my goals. So y'all could play. But tomorrow, I ain't playing. Tomorrow, I go even harder. Now, I got to make up for the $100,000 I lost today while y'all want to black out. You know what? I'm back in. I'm done with the blackout. Tomorrow, I go harder. No holes barred. I ain't holding back. I don't even want to go to sleep today because I feel like I got to make up for the 24 hours that I lost today. So, y'all could be sleep if y'all want and let these people. For those who do not know who this lady is, she's a life coach. She uh, gets paid to host seminars. She is an inspirational speaker, you know, motivational speaker, excuse me, things like that. You know, just a true through and through replica of someone who got out the mud and became successful. She's up there with the Tony Robbins. My issue is you're blaming the very people who fund your lifestyle, who invest into you, who are your market, right, for losing out on $100,000. Now, I'm not going to say $100,000 is not a lot. It is a lot of money. But at the same time, Blackout Tuesday was to promote what's going on with the legislature, the laws, etc., etc., so black people can get in tune with what to do around them because oftentimes the message could be hidden behind propaganda so instead of this just you know taking the the l she decides to blame black people because that's her market now for those that don't understand i'm a marketing major her demographics is made up of people of color black people hispanic people you know the disenfranchised the fact that they're even buying these teas and going to her lady talks and whatnot she should be thankful especially during this pandemic like girl how dare you i'm i'm not for uh you know going against freedom of speech but some of you need to understand it's not what you say it's how you say it now at the end of the day since you're not even the owner or partner of the company you're just the face it's a white man who runs this brand so did he get on your ass about doing blackout because you missed out on sales or something like what i need to know more about the truth i went to her instagram i didn't find anything she's up here deflecting and trying to post all these ronnie ho quotes no nah, sis stand on your morals and principles you're the same woman who said live for something and you're out here making it seem like you're not about money but sis you are see that's why i couldn't get with you because i felt like your brand was mm, was a lot whitewashed uh pull yourself up by the bootstraps especially when she did that stripper show and taking advantage of the week that's how I personally feel. Now, y'all know me. I'm all about get it how you live. I don't knock anybody's hustle. But when you start to attack the very set people who fund your lifestyle, girl, get a grip. But am I the only one who felt this way? Do y'all know who Coach Stormy is? Do you feel her messaging was misconstrued? Do you feel sis should have said it a better way? I don't know. If it were me, I would have said, hey, guys, you know, I'm glad we're making strides. You know, your girl missed out on some money, but I'm back to it. I'm about to hustle. You know, giving an inspirational speech about how to pull your business up because right now there's a lot of people who have businesses in shambles thanks to the pandemic and all these riots and these uh, protesting and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It, it is what it is. Now, I just think it was in poor taste. 
uh, I think she's so far removed she doesn't understand. That's just me personally. Not knocking the hustle. I'm just saying, girl, do better. But those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. Comment down below and I gotta go. Bye, hoes.